Joe Biden has had a problem with women's reproductive rights his entire career. The problem meaning he doesn't want to give them control of it. Uh, in fact, President Biden supported allowing states to overturn Roe versus Wade in 1982. Did you know that? As a senator, he voted in favor of a constitutional amendment that would have allowed states to restrict or ban abortion. His stance has since changed, they say. Oh, really? Here's from the Washington Post. Two long weeks inside Biden struggled to respond to abortion. rule. They've done nothing, right, Malcolm? I'm right. They've done nothing to, to, to Biden's administration to push back against the Supreme Court except say stupid stuff, right? Uh, just recently, there may be a change, a shift that uh, Biden has suggested that they're going to enforce a 1986 law. I think that requires states to perform abortions on uh, you know, women, in, if they're medically distressed, if they're a medical requirement for it. Uh, but that's uh, that that's uh, that that would supersede the state, any state bans. But that is preliminary. And <laughs> it certainly took them long enough to come up with that. It was not the uh, it was not they didn't have it ready to go. Well, here's what. Uh, this guy, Sawyer Hackett, he says this quote is astonishing. If this is truly the Biden White House response to the call to action on abortion rights. He is wholly unfit for the moment in history. So abortion rights activists, we've showed you the, the Hollywood elite, the Deborah Messings. They're like, why aren't you doing anything? Because <laughs> they're not going to do anything, right? The, the Biden administration. And here's what they say about to, uh, abortion activists. Here's what they said. Joe Biden's goal in, res in responding to Dobbs is not to satisfy. So what is Malcolm? Tell people what Dobbs is. Dobbs is the most recent Supreme Court decision uh, essentially overturning Roe v. Wade. Okay. So Joe Biden's goal in responding to Dobbs is not to satisfy some activists who have been consistently out of step with the mainstream of the Democratic Party. Did you hear what they said? Did you hear this? They're saying that if you are a woman's abor pro-abortion or pro-choice activist, you are out of step with the mainstream of the Democratic Party. So Biden's goal in responding to Dobbs is not to satisfy those people, those activists who are pro-choice. It's to deliver help to women who are in danger and assemble a broad-based coalition to, to defend a woman's right to choose now, just as he assembled such a coalition, coalition to win during the 2020 camp. That is what that is. I don't know what the F they get out of saying that. That is not going to help them. And here is uh, <laughs> Sawyer Hackett, communications digital strategist, co-host of Our America podcast. And he's a senior communications advisor to Julian Castro. You know, he is. He ran for president, remember? So that's who's saying this. He's upset. Here's uh, Biden is calling abortion rights activist Bernie Bros. That's that's a that's a good comparison. Uh, that's Daniel Denver, Denver with an IR. It's, but it's remarkable that it doesn't matter what the Democratic Party, the establishment of the Democratic Party does, you're not allowed to push back on them. I mean, the the one foundational belief in Democrats, uh, it seems like the past few generations or decades, has been their support of Roe v. Wade, and they're going to defend defend choice and especially drive anybody out of the party almost except for one henry queer obviously uh who didn't support the choice and now when it is eviscerated under under their watch they're like what are you talking about what are you giving us grief for come on it's it, it, instead of they can't even give lip service that's how broken or how corrupted the democratic party is that's how little they they, they don't serve you. That's how little they serve you. It's just, they can't even lie to you anymore. They can't even go, well, I, we certainly hear the activists and they have a great point and we're going to, they just go, shut up, grow up. Well, but also the, the activists have not been critical of, you know, activists on choice have not been critical of the Democratic Party for these past decades. They've just gone along and went and fundraised on fighting against Republicans. Republicans want to over two in a row. We got to you know, vote in Democrats. If just half of the energy that has been dedicated by the pro-choice movement to fight Republicans had instead been redirected at the Democratic Party and criticizing them for not following through, for example, Barack Obama on his promise to make 
codifying Roe a number one priority as soon as he was elected, which he abandoned almost immediately. Uh, if if when he did that, the pro choice movement had said, "Hey, no, 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 we supported you," and based on on you're saying that, and we're going to hold your feet to the fire if you don't do it, but they they essentially capitulated and just said, "Well, you know, it, it, Roe is safe for now." And uh, so it's, it's okay. We're not, we're going to let them slide on that kind of promise. And now we pay the price. Uh, and, but, but the, the point is you're not allowed to push back against the democratic party. And that's what they're reinforcing now is saying, no, no, you weren't allowed to do it back then. And you went along and you've got to keep going along. Here, uh, Elizabeth Spears says pro-choice people who want the administration to do something, anything for F sake, are now activists who have been consistently out of step with the mainstream of the Democratic Party? Does this administration need some polling to tell them what most Democrats think about abortion? I think they do. Mainstream? Biden could double his approval ratings and he still wouldn't be as popular as abortion rights. He could triple them. They always say broad-based coalition, which I think is insulting to women when you talk about abortion. It really is. <laughs> they also say broad-based coalition. Come on. How about a lady-based coalition? Yeah. yeah. They're standing abreast in support. Yes. <laughs> they always say broad-based coalition, but it never means to, to include leftists or activists. That's correct. Now you're waking up. Rolling Stone journalist Noah Schachtman argued that Bedingfield, so that was the communications director for who said that about Biden saying the activists should shut the F up. That comment should not be considered a casual comment and take it or taken out of context. This is not a blind quote from some random staffer, said Schachtman. It's on the record from Biden's top communications aide. So you can safely assume that shanking pro-choice activists is the White House's official position. Shanking meaning like stabbing them. This statement would be vile enough even if it managed to accurately characterize the prevailing political dynamics. But it doesn't even get that right. It's Biden, not some activist that's been consistently out of step with the mainstream of the Democratic Party. 64% of Democratic voters want Biden to be, don't want Biden to be the nominee. Who's out of step with the party? Who's out of step with the party? Is it uh, Grandpa Poopy Pants, or is it, uh, <laughs> or is it the abortion rights activists? The answer. You know, I'm I'm struck. Oh, the answer may it might have surprised me. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm I'm struck by this because it's it, it reminds me of something. This idea that activists should shut up. We have a plan. We're dealing with it. Where have I heard that before? Oh, I don't know. Forced to vote, maybe. Oh, that was it. That's that, right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Well, so but the point my point is that it's not just the administration or the mainstream of the Democratic Party who does this. It's everybody who does this when they get criticized from the left by activists, whether it's AOC and the squad, the mainstream of the Democratic Party. They all react this way. Just say, shut up. We're the we're the adults in the room. We know what we're doing. Just shut up and vote for us. And <laughs> I guess in November, we're going to find out how that works. They're the adult diapers in the room. I'll tell you. Hey. hey. <laughs> okay. Well, Matt Stoller, thanks for being with us. Hey, we're going to Sacramento back here in Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our shows. 